Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike at Sunny Slope. And today, we're gonna fix my son's four-wheeler. Now, my son broke his four-wheeler not long ago, probably, I, I couldn't tell you how long ago he broke it, but it's been down for a little bit and it's his favorite one. He loves riding that two-stroke, but the exhaust broke. Whew. And if you ever heard a two-stroke, you definitely don't wanna hear one with a broken exhaust. So it's been parked a while but he's just been itching for me to fix this thing because we don't really want to buy a new exhaust because they're, well, they're pretty pricey and that thing's pretty old. And uh, we're gonna see if we can weld this thing up. It's kind of a weird failure of what happened. And uh, I gotta investigate what caused it to break in this location because it's very odd. And uh, I'm kind of, I figured I'd take you guys along for the journey. Plus, you gotta see my son's face when he sees that I fixed this thing for him. So stay tuned. So now we're going to take the exhaust off up top here because, well, I don't want to fire this thing up because it's extremely loud and I don't want to cause any damage to that engine because there's no, uh, what do you call it, resonating chamber hooked up because the exhaust is broken. I'll show you where it's broken at. You'll know what I'm talking about here in a second. And uh, we're just going to push it over to the garage here real quick and uh, hope that we can get this thing off and all these old rusty bolts come off without a hitch. Well, right here, you can tell right where it broke. And I'm not sure why it broke there. That's a pretty solid area and it's not where a weld would be at. Something tells me it has to do with, uh, well, the exhaust not being mounted up properly or something. Because as you can tell, right there, there's your flux coupler from uh, your resonating chamber because how that engine works is it uses this chamber to create back pressure in this two stroke motor and it's not running with one right now so gosh I hope there's no damage from him riding it and uh, it breaking on him so we're going to take all this off and we're going to take it down to the shop well spinning nicely but uh, by the looks of it, and how rusty this is, I can't believe it's coming off this easy. Now this was tight, so don't get me wrong. I don't think that was the reason why this broke off. Oh yeah, that thing came right off, no problem at all. Ooh, and that exhaust is already starting to sag. Now on the other side, I realize the resonating chamber is not mounted up where it's supposed to be. And I don't see a place where it could be mounted. So I'm hoping that's not the issue, but we'll get it welded up and get them by until we can get a new one ordered or replaced. Well, all I gotta do now is get a Phillips, take this off, and this uh, whole thing should slide out somehow. Oh, like a glove. Question is, how do I get this big mamma gym out of here? It looks like I might have to feed it from the other side. <clears throat> oh, my knees aren't what they used to be. You ever notice the older you get, the more noises you make? Getting it up and off the ground. Come on. Here's what I was talking about here. That wasn't mounted up. I don't know why. But let's get let's get this down to the shop. Let's see if we can fix this. It's pretty thin. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to weld this. Uh, I'm usually welding things a little thicker than this but anything for the boy man that shop's gonna be colder than a well diggers you know you know what I'm saying <laughs> it's a family channel Mike it's a family channel <sighs> nonetheless that shop's gonna be cold I'm not gonna be down there long enough to start a fire at least not right now it's about 50 degrees but that shop is like a refrigerator with that concrete floor and the other thing is, uh, well, 
I want to get this done now because one, I don't have room in the shop to put this four wheeler in. And two, we're expecting to get a lot of snow. I don't know how much, but hopefully I can make a plowing video. Oh man, I hate the winter. I do. And the messes it causes. But let's get started. No peeking. You guys know my secret code. You guys keep up. We got stuff to do here. Well, first things first, we got to get this thing all cleaned up. You know what we're working with here. Oh, and I will not leave these on my head. I will actually use them. I do own safety glasses. Perfect. That's exactly where I need it to be. I think think that will do man look at that look how thin that is that is gonna be fun Ooh, and sharp Ooh, nothing like working with metal in a cold garage i wonder what temp it is in here oh well it's not that cold but <laughs> man man it sure does feel like it's cold in here now i have to go get my welding hood from outside because well everybody knows the bad part about having a auto tinting welding hood is it has to charge solary solarly i don't think that's a word but anyway it has to charge and there's nothing worse than finding out that your hood it ain't charged so we're gonna find out the hard way whether or not this is charged or not but either way we'll probably do the first couple tacks and then uh we'll just time lapse this because this is going to be a small and then and then and I'm using flux core, so that stuff burns really hot. So I might have problems burning through this, but it's gonna be a long process nonetheless, cause I gotta grind it, wire wheel it, and do my next tax and then go all the way around. So let's get the first tax out of the way. And um, well, we'll time lapse it from there. All right, well, we got that tacked in there. And we gotta worry about warpage. So, all right. There she is boys now that is what you call a pigeon weld that's going to be the weld that you use around your household for these kind of projects 99 percent of the time because because it looks like pigeon crap and that's why we call it a pigeon weld because it looks like a pile of pigeon poop and uh that's because i don't know how to weld metal this thin and or should i say i don't have a lot of practice welding metal this thin um it blew in a couple times you don't even want to see the other side this is probably the best looking side oh heck i'll show you i'm not scared yeah it's uh it's not pretty you youtube welders out there you be kind because i can do some good stick work and i can do some good mig work uh flux core sheet metal not necessarily my forte uh, especially if I don't get a lot of practice. But enough with the excuses. Let's get back up top and get this thing on and get my son rolling again and see what the problem is. I think he's missing some hardware, so we might have to hunt some stuff down. Let's head up top. Oh man, look at this weather. It may possibly snow here soon, which is good for me because then I can make a plowing video with the Kubota right there. Haven't gotten that thing out all winter, but nonetheless, we are waiting for this thing to cool down a little bit and then we're going to get her installed back on the four wheeler here uh we'll get fed in there tightened up the reason why it broke the hardware on the other side it's all loose these two strokes they will vibrate themselves to death so you always got to constantly check all the hardware and stuff but i will save you and spare you me putting 
hardware back in there because that's boring and we'll get this thing on there and at least see if it'll start up for us and see if it sounds good getting this thing to fish back through is i think it's gonna be the challenge because well i got extra parts now does this thing cool down enough yep it's nice and cool i got extra parts attached to it now so let's see if we can get to fish in here see what i can do to get this back into place get this lined up probably doing this completely wrong two hours later well now that's solid once again but the mounting location right there it's not hooked to nothing i think that's what caused my break see it right here and I don't think this exhaust is stock to this quad because the original mounting location is up in there. So when we do get an exhaust ordered for this, we'll get the right one. Or we'll figure out why this one is like the way it is. So all I gotta do is connect that and we'll start her up. And then we'll figure out all this loose junk later. But the most important thing is just getting her started up because she ain't ran like all winter. My luck, this stuff won't feed in right now that I've got it welded up. And that is exactly what's going on. This uh, thing is off now, which probably caused tension on that manifold. It caused it to break in the first place. So we're just going to have to muscle it yeah hello future exhaust leak That'll do donkey that will do it's gonna be enough for him to ride a little bit more like i said this thing is extremely tired and it needs a lot of work but he's 13 he's gonna beat it up i told myself if he ever blew up the motor that would probably just get rid of it but in the meantime we've got parts for the front end because it's a little a little wonky and the tires need air because it's been sitting but nonetheless this will get them by until we can get them some other uh, some other parts for it. Stay tuned because we're probably going to be working on this hunk of junk some more in the future. And this Honda we got over here is his main ride. He doesn't like riding it because it's a four-stroke, but man, this thing's got some power. Oh, hello, squirrel. Squirrel! This thing's got some power. I like riding this one. This is the one I want to put money into because... It's just a blast. She's looking a little sad, but he actually loves this one. So we're gonna do everything we can to keep this one running. How's your day? Today. <laughs> I fixed your four wheeler. Mm, what's wrong with it? What do you think was wrong with it? Mm -hmm. The exhaust. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I welded it up today. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>
So I appreciate you guys watching. See you on the next episode.